Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the tie set schedule. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Tie set schedule solved problem 2 coming under the network topology. First we will see the statement of the problem. For the network, draw the graph, tree, tie set schedule and find the loop current and branch voltages. So for the given network we need to draw the graph, tree, tie set schedule, loop current and branch current. We need to find the loop current and branch current. So this is the given network. Network is nothing but the combination of elements. Here we have voltage source and resistors. They are connected. That is called a network. Having the three nodes are available A, B and C. Node is a junction where the elements are connected together. So A, B, C, three, three nodes are available. And there is a three, two closed loop is available. Closed loop means, closed loop means, is a closed path. Is a closed loop. The current I1 is flowing through the closed loop. The second closed loop, current I2 is flowing. So three nodes available, two loops available, loop current is I1, I2. So one of the question is we need to find the loop current I1 and I2 and branch voltage, voltage across each and every element. This 10 ohm, this 10 ohm, we have to find the voltage across each and every branch. Branch is nothing but the element connected between the node. For example, between A and C, 50 voltage is connected. A and B, this 10 ohm is connected. B and C, 10 ohm connected. B and A, one more 10 ohm connected. So this is the branch voltage. The first one we need to draw the graph for this given network. What is the graph? The network elements are replaced by the straight line. Only represented by the straight line is called a graph. If the direction is also given means oriented graph. So this 50 voltage these resistors are simply represented by the yeah, straight lines. Same the three nodes A B, C. Between A and C, node 1. This is called branch, branch 1. That is nothing but this voltage source. And A and B, between A and B, two resistors are connected. One is 3, another one 4. Branch 3, branch 4. Between A, B and C, one more resistor, branch 2. So, three nodes A, C, B and four branches. 1, 2, 3, 4. The directions are our own directions, not given in the problem. The directions are made as per our own. Term. So, this is called a oriented graph. Now, we will see the further detail. So, the number of node is nt, n suffix t is 3, that is a, b, c. Number of branches are 4, these 4 branches. From that, we can find number of branch tree. What is mean by tree? The tree is the subset of the graph. Part of the graph. Here three nodes are available. Part of the graph is called a oriented graph from the oriented graph called a tree. Less number of branches will be there. And also it should not be closed loop. So this is one of the tree. Now we will see the detail. Number of branch tree, the, the branches in the how many branches available in the tree is n equal to nt minus 1. So nt is available 3 minus 1, 2. So there should be two branches in a tree. Number of link L equal to B minus N. B is bra branch is 4, N is number of branch tree is 2. So 4 minus 2, 2. So two trees in a, two branches in a tree, two links in the same tree. And independent loop is 2. Already we have two loop L I1 and I2. So this is one of the tree having two branches, 1 and 4. Similarly, we can have 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3, 3 and 4 like that. So, we consider only this tree having 1 and 4. So, the remaining 2 and 3 will form the link. Let branches 2 and 3 be the link. So, the link with tree is the tie set. We will see the next diagram. At that time, we were, we were able to understand. So, that this is the tree. In that, we are going to draw the link 2 and 3. So, 1 and 4, 3, 2 and 3, link. So, the network oriented graph completed. Then, 
tree completed. Now we'll go to the tie set schedule. So the oriented graph with the link currents are shown below. So 1 and 4 is the tree. In that we have 3 and 2, 2 and 3 that form the link. So completely this is nothing but a oriented graph with the tree. 3 node A, B, C branches 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 4 we consider tree, 2 and 3 we consider link. Now here are two loops available, I1 and I2. Loop 1 with the current I1, loop 2 with the current I2. Now we can go the tie set schedule. Tie set schedule means here in the vertically we have loop is available, loop 1 and 2. Here branches are available, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 branches. So we are going to relate the loop with the branches. If the direction of the branch as well as direction of the loop, both are equal means plus 1. Both are opposite means minus 1. No link means 0. So first we will consider the loop 1. Loop 1 what we have 1, 2, 4 available. 3 is not available in the loop 1. So 3 is 0. Loop 1, the branch 1, branch 2 and loop current both are same. So it is flowing in a clockwise direction. So the direction of branch 2 as well as loop 1 is same. So that plus 1. So here also same going down here also but the loop 4 going up so the loop 4 is branch 4 is minus 1 here the loop current is flowing like this the branch 1 also going upwards and loop 1 also going same direction plus 1 so loop 1 direction branch 2 direction both are same plus 1 loop 1 and branch 4 directions are opposite this is going down branch 4 going up both are opposite so minus 1 and branch 1 going the same direction current is flowing in clockwise direction so loop 1 also clockwise direction so plus 1 3 is not connected 0 I will consider loop 2 so only 3 and 4 available so 1 and 2 is 0 1 and 2 not covered in the loop 2 only 3 and 4 see that 3 direction is going down this is also going down same direction clockwise so plus 1 so this is also same going in the upward direction so going like this so branch branch 4 also and loop 2 current also same direction so plus 1 so this is called a tie set schedule so the branch currents are represented by capital I1, I2, I3, I4. Loop or link currents are marked as small I1 and I2. Branch voltages are V1, V2, V3 and V4. Right. So from this we can form the voltage equation as well as current equation. By applying KVL we can write the voltage equation. What is the voltage equation? We already represented V1, V2, V3, V4. So here 1 into V1, 1 into plus 1 into V2 plus 0 into V3 plus minus 1 into V4. Like that we can write the equation. Similarly here 0 into V1 plus 0 into V2 plus 1 into V3 plus 1 into V4. Like that we can write. Then I will write the current. See this is here this is I1, I2. This is capital I1. Right? We can write like this. This is small I1, I2. This will be capital I1, I2, I3, I4. So see this I1 is available in the only loop 1. So I1, capital I1 equal to small I1. This I2 is 0. Similarly I2 also available only in loop 1. So I2 equal to small I1. Similarly I3 available only in I2. So I3 equal to I2. I1 is 0. I4. Both I1 and I2 is available. I1 is negative. I2 is positive. So I2 minus I1. So from this tabular column, we can write the voltage equation as well as the current equation. I1 is capital I1 is small I1. Capital I2 is small I1. Capital I3 is I2. Small I2. 
i4 is i2 minus i1. Now we will see this equation one by one. So we already discussed the tabular column. Directly we can see the equation. For each row, KVL is applied to get the equation in terms of branch voltage. So applying KVL to the row 1, we already discussed 1 into V1 plus 1 into V2 plus 0 into V3 plus minus 1 into V4. So this is the values available in the tabular column. So this V3 is 0. We have V1 plus V2. This is minus. Minus V4 equal to 0. We will take this equation number 1. Similarly, applying KVL to row 2, 0 into V1 plus 0 into V2, these two values available in the tabular column, plus 1 into V3 plus 1 into V4. So, first two values are 0, only we have V3 plus V4 equal to 0, equation number 2. So, we got the two voltage equations. Similarly, we can go for the current. How will you find the current equation, the relation between branch current and link current is obtained by considering the column separately we already discussed capital i1 equal to small i1 capital i2 equal to small i1 i3 capital i3 equal to i2 i4 equal to i2 minus i1 right so these three equation number three four five six this number as three four five six so this is also obtained from the tabular column they already discussed so, from the circuit, the branch voltages we can write. V1 equal to minus 50. V2 equal to 10 ohm into I2. This I2 is nothing but small I1. So, 10 I1. V3 is another resistor or in that current flowing is I3. This I3 is nothing but I2. So, 10 I2. V4 equal to 10 I4 that is V equal to I into R. R value is 10. I value is either I4, I3 or I2. I4 is nothing but I2 minus I1. So 10 I2 minus I1. Now voltages are written in terms of loop current, link currents. Right? Branch current means I1, I2 is written in the loop current. This number as equation 7, 8, 9, 10. I think we are able to understand this. We will see the circuit diagram. So that we are able to understand. So this is the circuit diagram of it. So V1. 50 minus 50 volt. This is V2. V equal to I into R. I1 into 10. This is V3. 10 into I2. This is V4. 10 into 2 currents are there. One current is going down. Another current is going up. So I2 minus I1. So, based on that, we wrote that equation. This, this equation is written from the circuit diagram. So, numbered as equation 7, 8, 9, 10. From that, we can find the values. Our aim is next to we need to find the loop current and node voltages. These two we need to find, loop current and node voltages. So, from equation 1. That is the voltage equation. V1 plus V2 minus V4 equal to 0. Now we have V values are available. Voltage values are available. So we can substitute this value. V1 is minus 50. V2 is 10 I1. V4, V2. V2 is V2 equal to 10 I2. It is 10 I1. So this is I1. 10 I1. V4 is 10 I2 minus I1. Right. Now, this is minus is there. Now, we will multiply. Minus 10 plus 10 I1 minus 10 I2 minus minus plus 10 I1. So, I1 available. Plus 10 I1 here plus 10. So, 20 I1 minus 10 I2 minus 50 is brought that side. So, plus 50. So, 20 I1 minus 10 I2 equal to 50. We will make this equation number 11. Similarly, equation 2. V3 plus V4 equal to 0. V3 is 10 I2. V4 is 10 I2 minus I1. So, multiply inside. 10 I2 minus 10 I1 equal to 0. So, here 10 I2 plus 10 I2 become 20 I2. Divided by 2. Divided by 10, it become 2 I2 minus I1 equal to 0. So, 2 I2 equal to broad that I1 that side. So, it becomes plus I1. 
so i1 equal to 2i2 i1 equal to 2i we got we got one relation equation number 12 now now we'll substitute this i1 equal to 2i2 in the equation number 11 right so 20 i1 i1 is nothing but 2i2 so i1 is replaced by 2i2 minus 10 i2 equal to 50 you multiply 20 into 2 40 40 i2 minus 10 i2 equal to 50 40 i2 minus 10 i2 is 30 i2 equal to 50 so i2 equal to 50 by 30 that is 5 by 3 so that i2 equal to 5 by 3 so we got the loop current 2 i2 equal to 5 by 3 so i1 can be calculated from this equation so i1 equal to 2 into i3 we can substitute this now we will find the i1 value so substitute i2 equal to 5 3 in equation 12 equation 12 is i1 equal to 2 into i2 this i2 is replaced by 5 by 3 so 2 into 5 10 10 by 3 so i1 equal to 10 by 3 so now we calculated the loop current i1 is 10 by 3 i2 is 5 by 3 so by using this value we can easily calculate the branch voltages branch voltages can be calculated v1 is already minus 50 voltage from the diagram itself it is given v2 equal to 10 i1 so 10 into i1 is nothing but 10 by 3 so 100 by 3 that is equal to 33.33 voltage v2 v3 also 10 i2 v3 is 10 into i2 so 10 into i2 is 5 by 3 10 into 5 50 50 by 3 50 by 3 is 16.67 voltage v3 then v4 v4 equal to 10 i2 minus i3 so 10 into 10 into 10 i2 is 5 by 3 minus i1 is 10 by 3 so 10 into 10 i2 is 5 by 3 minus i1 is 10 by 3 so 10 into we take these three commonly so 5 minus 10 5 minus 10 is minus 5 so 10 into minus 5 by 3 so minus 50 by 3 that is minus 16.67 voltage so now we calculated v1 v1 is already given minus 50 voltage v2 v3 as well as v4 so node voltage as well as loop currents are calculated so in this problem we discuss the tie set schedule from the network first we draw the oriented graph then we draw the tree then the tree is converted into converted with link current then we design the tie set schedule from the tie set schedule voltage equation and current equation is framed by solving this equation we are able to identify the value of loop current and node voltage Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.